Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how I created this smoky Navi eye makeup look. I absolutely love how it turned out and I think it's actually one of my favorite smoky eyes I've done so far. I used a palette from Jeffree Star which is the blue blood palette and also for today I'm doing a giveaway so stay tuned because you can get a chance to win the palette that I'm using today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Bolt, which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer. In one of my previous videos, I used the newest primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I also really liked. But if I have to be honest, I still prefer to use this one. So like I just said, today I'll be playing with this palette from Jeffree Star and you all can get a chance to win this palette. So I will put all the details in the description bar, so make sure you check those out if you want to join the giveaway. I'm going to start with this shade, which is like a light blue, and I'm mixing it with the other light blue color. I wanted to get like a mixture of those two shades and start blending it in my crease. I'm just going to start blending it all over the crease, going back and forth with my brush. And the brush that I'm using right now is the Sigma E40. Then now for the next step, I'm gonna take this eyeliner from Maybelline and I'm gonna use this as a base for my smoky eye. I feel like using gel eyeliner always makes the smoky eye as black as possible and of course for this look, we want it to be as dark as possible. I am going on top of my eyelid with a blue shade to make it a little bit more to the blue side instead of the black side because we're going not for a blue... Okay, I'm not saying that correctly. We're not going for a black smoky eye, but for a blue smoky eye. But in order to make it as intense as possible, we want to use a really dark base underneath. So now that I'm done with creating the black base, I'm going in with this shade which is called Undertaker. It's like a really intense blue color and I'm gonna apply this around the edges to create the transition that goes from dark to light. You can see the black on the eyelid is obviously like super dark and the blue color in my crease is like a lot lighter. So we wanna take a color which is like an in-between shade and blend it in between so the transition looks less harsh. Thank you. 
And I'm also really focusing around the outer V area because I didn't want it to create like a round shaped edge. I wanted to have like a little bit of a winged edge. So this was kind of hard. I feel like those shaped eye looks are like the most difficult. So just in order to make this look as nice as possible, make sure you work with like really tiny blending brushes. This will make it a little bit more easy. I do have to say I still kind of struggle with it, but when I use tinier brushes, it definitely makes it a lot more easier. So make sure you use tiny ones. But now I'm gonna use a different kind of eyeshadow. This one is by Makeup Geek. I will put the name in the description bar. It's called the shade Coco Bear. And I'm gonna use that around the crease area as well. I felt like this look was a little bit like looking too much like a look I've already done. So I was like, damn, what am I going to do right now? Because I just didn't want it to do the exact same look as I've done already. That would just be kind of boring for my YouTube. So I decided to kind of warm up the crease a little bit more to give it a different twist. And I actually love that I did this because I feel like um, the brown kind of mixes together with the blue, which I already blended into my crease. And this gives such an, a unique color and I think it looks so pretty. So you can like decide at the beginning when I started blending the light blue shades in my crease that you want to go directly in with brown colors. Or you can first go in with the blue just like I did and then apply the brown on top of it and it will just give you like a total different color which looks really unique so you can definitely decide for yourself. So now I'm taking a color which is also by Makeup Geek and this one is called Chickadee and I'm gonna blend that in the crease as well just because I felt like the blending wasn't looking nice as how I wanted it to be so I just decided to go in with this color as well. So I'm just blending and blending until I find that everything looks nice and blended. So now for all over the eyelids, I'm taking the color Blue Monday and this is the shade that I'll be using to apply it all over the eyelid, which will make the whole eye look more navy and I think this is such a beautiful color and I really like how it's looking so far. So now that I was done with applying it on the eyelid, I took a tiny blending brush and also used that same blue eye color, but now eye color, I mean like eyeshadow color obviously, and blended also a little bit around the edges to make it look more blended into the crease. And also, as you can see me doing right now, I really wanted that winged edge, so really carefully I blended that blue a little bit around the edge to create a sort of a winged edge liner effect if that makes sense it's really hard to describe but hopefully by seeing me doing it it kind of makes sense to y'all So now for underneath my brow bone, I'm gonna use this color, which is, I think is the lightest color. It has like a really nice shimmer in it. And I'm gonna use this for underneath the brow bone. I think this definitely made the whole eye look complete. I'm not gonna use it for in the inner corner, but you can definitely do that as well. I think it's gonna be really beautiful as well. But I just wanted the transition from my brow bone towards my crease to look a little bit better. I just wasn't happy and I feel like this kind of fixed everything. And I never do like shimmery brow bones, it's not my thing. But for this look, I'm really happy that I did because I just feel like it gives it a whole different twist, which I really like. Let me know in the comments what you guys are. Are you more like a matte 
brown bone type of girl or are you more like into shimmers underneath the brow bone? So now I went back in with just a clean blending brush. I think it has a little bit of the chickadee eyeshadow from Makeup Geek on it and just blending around the crease to make everything blend into each other. And then now I'm taking a clean blending brush with a little bit of concealer and blending this around the edges of the eyelid and this will make the line of the eyeshadow look a little bit more blended out. This is just a really easy trick to make everything look like really smoothly blended. Then now for my waterline, I'm taking this pencil from Inglot in the number 01 and applying this all over in the waterline to make it nice and smoky. Then I went in with the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Liner and I'm gonna create a thin line above the lash line just so it will hide the lash band of the fake eyelashes that I'll be using. If you haven't seen my video where I show how I apply my lashes, it's my previous video. I will also link it down in this video. And now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna take the color Undertaker and apply it underneath the low lash line to kind of blend out the lower lash line and make it really smoky. Then I'm going back in with the shade Coco Bear and using this for underneath the lower lash line to really warm up the lower lash line just like I did with the crease. Also, I'm not showing it in the video, but I also at the end used a little bit of the chickadee eyeshadow and also used that to blend it underneath the lower lash line. So now for my mascara, I'm using my all-time favorite, which is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. I'm using this to create a thin coat on my upper lashes and a little bit on the lower lashes. Then now for my fake lashes, I'm using lashes from the brand Lux Lashes. I'll put the exact name of this lash style in the description bar as well. And like I said earlier, I did film a video where I go really in-depth on how I apply my fake eyelashes because I know a lot of people struggle with this. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down in the description bar so you guys can check it out. And then this is the end of the video. Don't forget to join the giveaway where you can win this beautiful palette from Jeffree Star. Um, I will put all the rules in the description bar. All you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and of course leave a comment letting me know that you're joining the giveaway. So good luck everyone. I will announce the winner next week in the description of this video. So if you're joining, make sure you go back to this video and check the description bar to see if you have won. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoy it. Let me know if you're gonna try this look and let me know if you enjoy it or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.